In this video, I'm going to be changing out the power supply capacitor in a Tentec Century 21. And there is the main filter cap. Quite the cylinder. It takes up a lot of room. I'm going to be changing that out with a pair of axial lead caps to come up with approximately 13,000 microfarads. So this is one of those big computer grade electrolytics. There's two screw terminals that actually bond it to the power supply module. So to get this out, I'll remove that screw. And then there's two screws on that bracket. This board should lift. I'm going to attach these on the back of the circuit board direct. Use caution when you take off the bottom panel because normally the speaker is hardwired. This one's been modified to plug in. But if you're not careful, you'll break your speaker. To gain access to those bracket mounts, you have to remove this board. And those are the two screws that hold in the filter cap. Okay, the board is loose. Now one note, when you take that bracket off the main filter cap, you're going to lose some mechanical support for this power supply card. So more than likely, I'll probably mount the new caps on a terminal strip and allow them to support this board. We'll see how it goes. But right now, I can easily get to those two screw terminals and get that big cylinder cap out of here. Another thing you should be aware of, these screws are the only thing that ties the positive and negative post to the board. So if these screws loosen up over time, your power supply could develop issues and they're very difficult to tighten. So after these new caps are soldered direct, that problem will never happen. So removing the cap, you'll see the positive and negative are marked. For safety, go ahead and put a little plus sign on your circuit board so you don't reverse that. So I found an old terminal board that has the same span of the mounts as the original bracket did. So I'm going to clean this up, pop it in, and mount the caps. Final installation is complete. I strapped the negatives and the positives joined together on the circuit board foils. Everything looks good. Let's test. All right, powered up the Tentec. No smoke. And I'm monitoring the voltage right on the filter cap, which is 22.4. Now remember, the original filter cap was a 25 volt cap, and these new ones are 35. Now here's a Sentry on a 40 meter band. band is pretty weak but there's no hum. Next I'll have to get this thing on the air. You know sometimes it takes 14 hands to repair these radios. So you can pick up a bottle of 14 hands for under $15, and it is a great wine. If you would like to buy D-Lab a bottle of wine, go to my new website, buymeaglassofwine.com, and I'll feature that bottle on my next wine video. But in the meantime, I'm gonna look for a POTA station using the Century.